Hi, welcome back to What's Wrong With This Picture on RV Newsnet at RVNN.TV. This is the show where we try to help you make better pictures of all those magic moments that you'll discover along the RV trail uh, of life. <laughs> that, I'm trying to get too, uh, uh, too poetic there, but uh, it, it is true. We call the show What's Wrong With This Picture because what we want to do is help you ma take better pictures and make pictures better. And this is the segment of the show where we really kind of dig into that. Um, in the future, we're going to have photos from you, which, by the way, if you submit a photo to the show, we're not going to tear it apart. We're going to help you make it better, and we're going to look at what you've done well, and we're going to try to help all other photographers out there learn from some of the things that you've done in your pictures. So, you know, this is not a, this is not a, uh, it's not going to be an insult comedy show when we get your photos. <laughs> so don't be, don't be worried about that. But um, we're going to look at uh, some photos, first of all, that this, since this is our first episode and we don't have photos from you, which we want, but Dennis has some photos that he's brought and we're going to uh, look at one of those today and uh, see how we might uh, make that one better or, you know, talk to us about how you made it. Let's talk about that picture. Well, first of all, uh, uh, I did not trump this up. This was an honest mistake. Okay. I'm supposed to be a professional, right? Okay, right. And I'm out there taking a picture of the Badlands of North Dakota, or South Dakota, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I le legitimately did something that no professional should do, mm -hmm. and that is I didn't look at my camera b and check the settings before I started taking pictures that day. Okay. As a result, by accident, I had an adjustment on my camera set to the wrong place so that it would overexpose the pictures. So this was something like you took the day before? And, or, uh, or I did something the day before and the, the adjustment, I never put it back to uh, a neutral position where I knew I could take a good picture. Right. Uh, for some reason I, I wanted to re, you know, I wanted to uh, overexpose uh, the last time I used the camera. Well that, that kind of brings up a good little rule of thumb as we have rules of thumb today. Uh, that, and that is that maybe is it, is it a good rule of thumb that when you're done shooting photos for the day that you basically put your camera back into its uh, you know neutral mode or its its basic mode or if you will absolutely and uh, to use a couple of technical phrases we'll explain later on in succeeding shows right 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 uh, best thing to do is put it to the mode that you normally shoot your average shot with uh, put it at ISO 100 is my recommendation so that it's at a good place where you where uh, you can get a good exposure and set your uh, uh, your uh, aperture at somewhere around f11 and you set your uh, uh, shutter speed at, a, at around 1 25th of a second right now if you leave it that way and you're out on the road tomorrow driving down the highway and you come across something that strikes you as a shot you want to take you don't have to think too hard you can pick it up turn right. it on and shoot it's it. a kind of an average setting that you know you're going to yeah. get something pretty it's good even if it's not precisely exactly. right it's going to be a lot closer than what you have here with the badlands if, picture if you don't normally do all those things uh put it to program mode which is all automatic right and that at least you know that whatever you're going to take that day is already set up to be uh at a at an automatic level and you're not going to get a bad picture now you you were able to actually rescue this picture right yeah, yeah, I was. Uh, fortunately, because I took not just one bad picture, but I took a whole <laughs> string of them before okay. I discovered that I had the setting wrong. And uh, fortunately, uh, I happen to have the habit of shooting everything in what we'll call raw mode, okay. uh, which a lot of professional photographers, almost all professional photographers, shoot in raw mode. And here's one of the reasons. Okay. Uh, because when we shoot in raw mode, the camera doesn't do anything uh, to the picture itself. It just takes the information that it sees and records it. Right. Okay. Uh, and so because of that, I was able to uh, take this picture and I was able to work with it in my uh, my image editor, which is Photoshop. Okay. And I was able to take it back to this image now, which uh, uh, shows what could be done because I had that latitude. Okay. So you now not all of our viewers are going to be shooting in raw mode because no. most point and shoot cameras or 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 uh, cameras that are not professional level don't have that. But That's right. again, still the lessons can be learned here, and sometimes even even at that, a photo can be saved. That's so right. We'll be talking yeah. about some more of that as time goes on here. Um, th anyway, so. Even pros make mistakes. Absolutely. And Apparently. so, <laughs> and so we, we've learned from one of Dennis's mistakes today. Um, please send us your photos so that we can look at what your work is and show it off and discuss it on uh, on uh, what's wrong with this picture. Um, 
we have several ways for you to contact us. You can uh, send your photos to picture at rvnn.tv, or if you just have a question for us, you can uh, call our, uh, our, our, our voicemail line, which is 877 578 RVNN and use extension 704 to leave a message for Dennis. So please, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Flickr. So contact us in any one of those ways. Send us your photos, and we'll talk about them. Uh, we'll talk about the best examples on the, some future episode of What's Wrong with This Picture. So um, that's uh, all we've got for today. But you have a quote for the day, don't you, Dennis? I do indeed. Uh, famous. Uh, uh, Photographer Ansel Adams was once heard to say, "There's no, there are no rules uh, for good pic- photographs. Uh, there are only good photographs." That's really, that really, it? that's profound. It is. It is profound. Yes. Anyway, I'm Dave Dufour, and I'm Dennis Guillaume. Remember, the photo you take today will uh, remember small things long after you've forgotten everything. See you next time. like this from the world of RVs, head to rvnn.tv.